Hello everybody and welcome to another video and today we're going to be looking at a band called Hell Garden. Um, never really heard of them before, um, they're actually a fa fairly recent band, not very recent but fairly recent band. Um, so had to dig around a bit, didn't, uh, it was hard to find information on them but I got some, <coughs> excuse me, and what I've got is um, Hell Garden is a Brazilian metal band formed in 2015 in Botucatu, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, the members, Carrick Gabriel on guitars and Mateus Barrieros on drums, have been playing together since they were 11 and 12 years old, later joining forces with another friend of the uh, local uh, metal scene, uh, Diego Pascucci, I, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing these names wrong, uh, he joined on vocals in 2015. Uh, this was the beginning of what would later become Hell Garden in 2017 with Guillaume Biondo on bass guitar. In 2017-2018, the band made a lot of live performances around Brazil whilst playing in, <coughs> in important festivals alongside big names of the worldwide metal scene while composing the, them, their album uh, alongside. <coughs> In late 2018, Hell Garden travelled to the state of Rio de Janeiro in Petropolis City to record their first album, Making Noise Living Fast, at uh, Forest Lab Studios. This album was recorded straight to tape. Uh, the band then sp spit all their energy into each of the songs um, of that recording, and which would, be which would become the first album, Making Noise Living Fast. Um, in 2019, the band returned to the stage before even releasing their first album, uh, participating in a big festival in their city and sharing the stage with Achilles, Priesta and Klorn, a local death metal band. Um, now, as I understand it, their debut album is actually coming out sometime this year, uh, having just signed with a uh, record label. Um, so... Uh, yeah, there's not much known about them. There isn't that much out about them. In fact, there is only one track uh, um, out available, as I am aware. A track called Learned to Play Dirty. Uh, so that's what we're going to be looking at today. I've got um lyric up here, thankfully. And, um, yeah, it didn't specify what kind of metal um, they played, but we'll have a look. Um... <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, I think we'll jump uh, straight into it and see what we've got. So we're looking at Hell Garden. Learned to play dirty. Let's see what we've got.
there you go. <clears throat> that was learned to play dirty by Hell Garden. Now, got to say, pretty hard. You know, pretty hard, pretty heavy. Very raw sound. Um, the actual sound of the band actually reminded me a lot of Pantera. Um, especially in, you know, the vocal style, especially. Um, very, very interesting. Very, like I said, very powerful, very hard, raw uh, sound for the band. Um, now, the song itself is basically when he says that when it's being called Learn to Play Dirty, I don't know what I'm saying, uh, when it's saying called <sighs> Learn to Play Dirty, you know, he seems to be talking about like how he's had to put up with a load of like hard deals in life and like he, he's been dealt a bad hand he's had to put up with like some really bad stuff you know people have been nasty to him you know people have taken advantage of him etc sort of thing and he sort of turned around looked at him and gone you know what I'm going to hit him back just as hard and I'm going to play dirty you know in order to get through that's what it seems to be you know people have taken advantage of me, of me enough I'm going to fight back and I'm going to play dirty that's what it seems to be and the lyrics go, this shit. Life's a game, that's truth. I bet my soul I got nothing to lose. I lost many things, I survived in hell. Now stronger, burning alive, maybe the devil's inside of me. Inside of me, inside of me. Now I'm back, I learned to play, game over, no way. Reborn in flames, I killed the fear, Forged by hate and anger, no one can take what's inside of me. Inside of me. Inside of me. Possessed, I learned to play dirty. F*** you, I got nothing to lose. Game over, no way. What the hell's inside of me? Possessed. F*** you. Game over, no way. And that's it. <clears throat> So the first, the first few lines where he's like, life's a game, that's the truth, I bet my soul, I've got nothing to lose, I lost many things, I survived in hell, now stronger, burning alive, than maybe the devil inside of me. So that's sort of illustrating, you know, I've been through some really hard <laughs> in my life, you know, I've had to deal with some really horrible things, you know, and, you know, I, I've survived hell, you know, I've been put through hell by all these things that have come to me, all these people that have, like, tried to knock me down, you know, I've survived through this. And then he says, um, now stronger, burning and alive, the devil's inside me. So he's basically turning around and goes, you know what, I'm fed up with this. I'm fighting back. I'm coming back harder, stronger and faster. You know, even if I have to use underhanded tactics, I'm going to get back. Um, <clears throat> and then he goes, now I'm back. I learned to play game over no way. Reborn in flames. I killed the fear. Forced by hate and anger. No one can take what's inside of me. So there's that bit there, forged by hate and anger. So, you know, he eventually got so fed up of, you know, people treating him like and all these bad things happening to him that he's just, he's just gotten so angry that, you know, he's gone, right, I've had enough of this. I'm coming at you. And possessed, I learned to play dirty, etc. So like, you know, this is what you get for treating me the way I am, you know, uh, the way you are. And, um, you know, I'm not going to take this stuff anymore. So I'm going to take you down, no matter what. So, you know, it's got a fairly decent meaning. It's not a particularly deep song, but it's got a decent meaning. Sort of like, you know, you don't put up with crap that people throw at you. You know, you shouldn't have to be the whipping boy. You shouldn't have to be the beaten dog. You know, you have, you have the right to stand up for yourself and fight back. So, you know, pretty decent track. And, you know, musically, it was pretty decent uh, vocally it was again pretty decent very well performed um, and it's got that like I said before it's got that sort of raw sound which might just come from it being recorded uh, to tape I don't know um, since most things are done digitally these days but that was a pretty decent track I'd be interested to hearing some more of the stuff um, as I said they I think that's the only track they've actually released at the moment um, but I believe their album is coming out later this year at some point so I'd be interested to um, giving that a listen and uh, see what else we've got because um, it's interesting because I was never act like I said earlier um, this band to me sounds very like Pantera but the thing is I never really liked Pantera very much controversial I know I was never a big fan of Pantera but um, 
I don't know. This has got, a, like I said, it's got a sound similar to Pantera, but there's something else different about it as well. But pretty good, pretty good. Um, music had a pretty good groove to it, you know, quite um, prominent bass lines in there as well, and, you know, pretty nice guitar solo. I mean, it wasn't an overly complicated, fret-wanky guitar solo, so, you know, that's good as well. Um, I don't like these um, pretentious people who just wail on a guitar just for the sheer sake of it without it actually having a decent sound to it. Um, so, yeah pretty decent. Be very interested to see what they come up with in future. <clears throat> but I can't think of much else to say about that, so I'll leave that as it is. Um, if anybody would like to suggest a track for me to react to, then please do so by all means. You can drop a comment in the comment section below, or message me on my Facebook or my Instagram, or you can even message me through my Patreon, where you could also help to support this channel and help me create future content. Uh, there is also an option uh, in Patreon where you could get your suggestion uh, jumped to the front of the queue. Uh, there are limitations to that, to be fair to other people um, who suggest tracks through normal means. Um, you know, it, it seems only fair because otherwise, you know, I'd, I'd just be flooded with those sorts of requests and nobody's tracks would get done if they suggested them through Facebook, YouTube or Instagram. So, um, yeah. Uh, if you do suggest a track uh, through normal means, uh, there is a chance it might take me a while to get around to it since I get suggested so many new tracks every single day um, that I, I just can't keep up um, with the list, you know. My list grows so fast every single day I can't record the videos fast enough. But I do write down every suggestion I get so it will get done eventually, excuse me, it just might take me a while to get around to it. Also, Metalhead Reacts is a proud supporter of the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, a British-based charity whose main goal is to put an end to hate crimes, uh, mainly those aimed towards people of the alternative culture, people who listen to alternative music or dress in alternative fashion. And it's something that I believe in very strongly, something I am very, very passionate about, um, because it's something I think needs more attention bringing to it. More people need to talk about it, you know, because all over the world, Every single day, there's people of the alternative uh, culture that are getting violently attacked purely for the fact that they listen to alternative music, you know. And it's something that is overlooked at every turn. You know, nothing ever gets said about it, nothing ever gets done about it, and that needs to change. You know, the last, the last time there was any widespread coverage of an incident involving someone of the alternative culture getting violently attacked was about 12 years ago when Sophie Lancaster and her boyfriend Rob Maltby were violently attacked by a group of five or six people and beaten so severely that they both ended up in a coma. Now Rob Maltby, he thankfully survived. He came out of a coma after about a week or so, I can't remember exactly how long. But Sophie Lancaster was in a coma for 13 days uh, until she eventually succumbed to her injuries and died. This girl, 20 years old at the time, was beaten to death just because she liked alternative music, just because she wore alternative fashion. You know, this girl was murdered because of her tasty music. It's unacceptable that that happened. But that was the last time anything was said about it in widespread media. But I can guarantee you in the 12 years since that happened, hundreds, maybe thousands of people from the alternative community have been attacked in similar fashion. But it's never been spoken about because it hasn't ended in tragedy. And it shouldn't take somebody's death for this sort of thing to get spoken about. You know, every single day we hear about all these other hate crimes, sexism, racism, homophobia, transphobia, you know, all, all this sort of thing. We hear about those every single day from the most heinous and violent of crimes down to the simplest, most trivial of crimes of someone like saying, you know, so, someone insulting somebody because of the colour of their skin or their sexual preference, you know. So, something, like, not necessarily violent, you know, it's just the, the, the simplest little thing, you know, just a, just a verbal insult thrown at someone, you know. All, all points on the spectrum get reported on of those hate crimes, but people getting violently in attack, hospitalised, you know, bones broken, because of their taste in music, isn't getting spoken about at all. And it qualifies. It is a hate crime. It is the very different definition of a hate crime. A hate crime is attacking someone because you hate something about their lifestyle. You hate something about the choices they have made. And, you know, 
people are choosing to listen to alternative music, they're choosing to wear alternative fashion, and people are attacking them because they hate that fact. It is a hate crime, but it's not getting spoken about, and that needs to change, because essentially, we're letting these people get away with it. You know, they're getting away with committing these violent acts, and, you know, severely injuring people just because of their tasty music. And, you know, I mean, it makes no sense to start with. You know, you don't attack someone because they like different movies or TV shows to you. So why the hell does their taste in music make any difference? You know, it doesn't affect your life in any shape, way or form. You know, if you don't like the music, don't listen to it. It's very, very simple. If you don't like the clothes they're wearing, don't look at them. Very, very simple. None of them is a reason to violently attack someone. You know, and... You know, th these attacks are just... They're, they're not getting spoken about. Nothing's getting done about them, and that needs to change. And this is what the Sophie Lancaster Foundation is all about. They want to bring more attention to the fact this is happening. They want people to start talking about it. They want, you know, people to realise that this sort of thing is happening. And, you know, w what happened to Sophie Lancaster, we cannot let it happen again. It should never have happened in the first place. But we most definitely cannot let it happen again. We, we can't let another family go through what Sophie Lancaster's family went through when they had to watch their daughter die over the course of two weeks just because of a group of ignorant morons who didn't like the fact that someone like listened to different music to them. You know, we can't let it happen again. So if you'd like to find out more about the Sophie Lancaster Foundation, there is a link to the website in the description below. You can go over there, find out what they're working on at the moment, find out what their goal is because they can explain it so much better than I can. Uh, and if you can help them in any small way, you know, obviously you don't feel obligated to do so, but if you can help them in any small way, like a donation through their website or even something like one of these Sophie wristbands from their uh, web store, you know, the smallest amount can make the biggest difference. And the sooner we bring more attention to this, the sooner more people will start talking about it, and the sooner we can help to stamp out prejudice, hatred, and intolerance everywhere. But I'm going to leave that as it is for the time being. Thank you all very, very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.